In this video, I want to talk about the way that the word fact is sometimes used in a scientific context. It's sometimes said that facts in science correspond to simple, basic observations that are verifiable, like counting the number of people in a room or making an observation through a microscope. This line of thinking suggests that theoretical claims can't count as facts in science because they don't correspond to simple, verifiable observation statements. But is this right? So first, let me show you a couple of examples of this way of talking about facts in science. Here's a quote. A fact within the context of science is very basic. A scientific fact is in essence an objective and verifiable observation. It is a fact that when standing on the surface of Earth, if one were to release an object from their outstretched hand, that the released object would fall towards the ground. This is an objective reality that anyone can go and test at any time. So according to this site, facts are simple observations that anyone can test at any time. Here's another one. Quote, fact in science, an observation that has been repeatedly confirmed and for all practical purposes is accepted as true. Truth in science, however, is never final and what is accepted as fact today may be modified or even discarded tomorrow. So this is an epistemically loaded definition. It defines facts as claims that have been repeatedly confirmed. But note that these are described as observations. So once again, connecting the concept of a scientific fact with what is observable. Here's another quote. Fact, a very elementary statement based on some measurement, such as humans are about six feet tall or water boils at 212 degrees Fahrenheit. It's the same idea. Here's another one. Facts are simple, basic observations that have been shown to be true. For example, there are five trees in my yard is considered a fact because it is a simple statement that can be proven. So this usage is certainly out there, but there is an obvious problem with this usage. If we restrict the language of facts to simple, verifiable observation statements, then there are many, many statements that scientists would want to make and do make, but would not be allowed to make under this definition. For example, we couldn't say that it's a fact that matter is made of atoms and molecules. Why not? Because this isn't a simple observation statement that anyone can verify. This is a highly theoretical claim. It makes an assertion that goes beyond what is directly verifiable. And yet this is obviously a claim that is widely regarded as an accepted scientific fact. It's a theoretical claim, but it's regarded as so well supported that it would be very, very odd to question it. Or how about this one? In our introduction, we gave examples where evolutionary biologists want to talk about the fact of evolution. Uh, Richard Lewontid says, evolution is a fact, not a theory. Stephen Jay Gould says, evolution is both a theory and a fact. But if we interpret evolution as the claim that all living organisms are evolutionally descended from a single common ancestor, this is not a simple verifiable observation statement. This is a highly theoretical claim. It's something that we arrive at through inference and argument, not direct observation. Or how about this? The universe originated in a Big Bang over 13 billion years ago. Astronomers and cosmologists all regard this as an established scientific fact. But on this definition of fact, you couldn't say this, because it too is a highly theoretical claim. Nor could we say this. Down syndrome is a genetic disorder associated with chromosome 21. Every doctor believes that this is an established biological fact, but it too is something that we've come to only through a process of inference. Uh, it's not a claim that anyone can verify with, through direct observation. So this is just a bad definition of a scientific fact. It's way too narrow in scope, but you can see why it might be attractive. Simple observation claims are obvious candidates for factual claims in the epistemically loaded sense of fact. They do play an important role in science and our everyday reasoning about the world, but they're a subset of the broader category of claims that can be candidates for scientific facts. The mistake is thinking that they define the category. Theoretical claims can also count as facts in the epistemically loaded sense. This is the way scientists talk. This is the way we all commonly talk, and our definition accommodates this perfectly well.